What's up guys? Baker here. Uh, cool grid tutorial. Just felt like doing it. Just feeling a little bit better. But um, basically this is the example I'm going to be going over if you haven't seen it already. But uh, shoots a guy. Alright, I know it's fast, but check it out. I'll do it in slow motion for you. He shoots and it goes... Now two reasons why this works. Um, because it's uh, slow motion. So there's not a lot of movement. Uh, another reason is it's a simple plane geometry, just like a room. I wasn't worrying about the uh, the cabinets and things like that in the desk. And uh, third reason is just because it's a really fast transition kind of thing. And uh, you can't notice the imperfections in the, in the video because it's so fast, like things not lining up and whatnot. But I'm just going to show you the basics of it, and it's it's pretty cool. So, you're going to have your clip, and I'll just go ahead and drag it into a comp, and whatever. And uh, what I'm going to do is, right after you shoot this guy, I'm going to twixter it. So, I uh, probably should have just had this set up already, but, you know, I'll show you what I do, and all that. So, go ahead and apply some twixter. And uh, I want it to twixter right about... Right around that area, so that looks good. So I'll fix the frame rate and set a keyframe for the speed. Move over a few frames. So the best effect is just when it's, you know, really just not even moving. Cause yeah, and then I let it go for a, a second or so, and then uh, let it go back up to a hundred. And just to show you, I guess, kill that guy. It looks really gross, but, you know, I don't care right now. I'm not going to deal with that right now, but <coughs> basically we're just going to be looking at this area. It's all slow motion. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to make an entire new comp. And we'll call this the 3D Grid Room, okay? And uh, you don't have to have it the same frame rate and uh, length and everything, but... What we're going to do is create a new solid, and let's just make this a square. So let's do let's do 1280 by 1280. Okay. And we'll type in grid. So generate grid. All right. So basically, why is this? Oh. Change the comp settings, too, just so it's, just so you can see everything. Okay. And now we're going to duplicate, we'll, we'll, we'll make this 3D layer, and then we'll duplicate it. All right. Um, okay, so now we need to offset these. So the back wall, if you want, you can rename these to back. We need to push this back half the length of the uh, size of our comp. So 1280, half of that should be 640. So push it backwards. All right, so now it's kind of back there. This one... These need to be pushed to the side half the length. So if we just take the X, we go in here. We don't have to actually figure it out. Just type minus 640. And that will move it to the side. And what we're going to do is push R for rotation and rotate this 90 on the Y. And then so we kind of get like the left, left wall. Okay. Now uh, duplicate the left wall and push P for position. And we'll just move it over the full 1280. So we get that. All right. Um, we can duplicate. We'll duplicate the back. <coughs> All right. Duplicate the back. And we want this to be back to normal at zero for the Z. And then we need to push it down. So plus 640. So basically, what we're doing is just uh, and then rotate it 90 on the X. Basically, we're just making all the walls, and if you kind of know how to do that, that's that's good too. But um, minus 1280, it's the top. So there we go. We just got the, uh, the five walls that we're gonna see in the video, and uh, we'll just leave it for right now. We'll go back into a clip, and this could be in your uh, could be in your main comp and stuff. But we're going to take the 3D grid room and bring that comp out. So we see that. But we need to make a new camera. And um, 
35 is a pretty good guess. But, um, yeah. Okay. And if you have any other 3D layers in your main comp with the camera, this might mess them up. So what you can do is just, you know, trim the camera. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, just trim the camera so it doesn't affect anything else. But um, okay, so we're going to change the 3D grid room into a 3D layer and then hit the collapse transformation switch, which is the little sun looking icon. So what that means is <coughs> in here, it was all 3D positioning and geometry. And when we do that, it'll, you know, act as the 3D stuff and retain all that stuff. And I don't know. So we're going to use the camera tools now. And we're going to orbit camera tool, we're going to track and all that stuff. So I know he's in the slight right side of the room, so I can just move this over just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to actually push S for scale on the room. And I'm going to increase the Z so it gets stretched out a lot. So maybe a little more. And then uh, just go ahead to the orbit camera tool. And this is the fun part. you got to basically line up. Try to line it up with the uh, the geometry of the real. <coughs> oh my gosh, the real uh, the room. So you know you can scale it wider a little bit, maybe a little bit higher, and uh, maybe a little bit further back. And just kind of try to position it and rotate it over and over until you kind of get like a a decent match. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because I showed you in my example that uh, you can have it. Just pop up really fast no one's gonna notice so that's that's just a pretty decent I mean it's not perfect of course but you know looks alright and now since these are all stretched we can go back to the 3d grid room and just kind of fix that so the left and let's go to a custom view so we can just kind of see what's going on all right so this left side see that we need to <coughs> oh my gosh Fix the corner, so is it this one? Yeah. Fix the X value of the corner and just kind of squish it in. And uh, same thing for the right, just kind of squish it in, whatever it is. You can kind of see what's going on on the right side. And um, let's just see how that looks. See, we're getting a little bit more normal grid look. Okay, for the bottom, which one's the bottom? Bottom layer, I think it's the other corner now. Yeah. The y, the second value for the corner, the back, the top. You know, this is all just trial and error stuff. Just go ahead and squish it, and it's over here. It looks back to normal. All right. So next thing to do, I like to change the mode to overlay. If it still works for that, I think you have to go back into here and change all of these to overlay as well. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Okay, so it's not like too bright and uh, super noticeable and stuff. Okay, so how do we, you know, fade this in? So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this. You don't have to, but I like to. So we want this to fade in when it's all slow motion like that. So what I did is I actually use a track map. And it won't be 3D, but check this out. So we'll make a new solid, and we'll make it comp size. That's fine. And we'll rename this to Matt. Put it right above the grid room and the effect I use I think was radial wipe I do believe let's see is this it okay cool um, so what I'm gonna do is change the center point to the uh, the center of the room so I can just go ahead and you know just kind of the center of the back wall that's what I was somewhere in that general area. What we're going to do is we're going to change the track mat to alpha mat? No, alpha invert. Okay. So we're going to go to the beginning of the Twixter and set the value down to zero. Keyframe, move forward to the end of the Twixter. Actually a little bit before. Half, halfway, halfway. And we'll make this 100 so it fills up the room. And then we'll just uh, have an opacity fade on the grid room from zero, uh, 100 down to 0. So here's kind of what we got. So it fills up the room like it's, you know, analyzing. 
target lock on. Ho, ho, ho. It just kind of fades away. And I also added a little bit of, um, just a little bit of CC lens, make it look a little bit cooler. So what I did was um, right about here, I think, what was that 200? Have it start at 200 in the beginning of the grid, keyframe, and then near the end, just have it, you know, a little bit back to normal, like 350 or 400. So when it's, uh, you know, coming in, it's slowly moving, like it's, you know, analyzing and getting better at tracking and analyzing. And I don't know, things like that. Pretty cool stuff. I think that's all I want to talk about today. That's about that's about it. I mean, um, if you have a more complex room, like if you want to do the doors and you have a pillar and like this wall, you could actually do that and uh, have some more 3D layers and try to match. But it gets really, really hard. So I'd stick to uh, finding the clip with a basic geometry like this long room. And then um, that's about it. So yeah, if you like this tutorial, I thought it was pretty interesting and original. I don't know about you. But I'm sharing this effect with you. So I would appreciate it if you would like the video. Leave a comment maybe in the stuff. And uh, I will see you next time, guys. Peace.